get some light up in here. This is still a get the look. We're gonna get to the makeup look, I promise you. But if we look at the Rosalia makeup look in Anoche, La Noche de Anoche, the makeup is very simple. So I was just kind of brainstorming and I also asked on Instagram and you guys said, you know what, just go all out, do the damn thing, do makeup, hair. Outfit. I'm inserting a clip here because I know there's a huge population of people that don't watch music videos A little known fact about me is that I love music videos, especially this one So after I went on Instagram and I was like, ah, should I do the dress? Everyone was like, yes, 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 yes I was flooded with the DMs of yes And I was at that point thinking, do they actually hate me when I went back and saw the dress? Or, you know, maybe you guys have a lot of faith in me Obviously that dress is gonna be really hard to find, but I'm like DIY our way around it. So that is why we are here. We are currently at the thrift store. Let's go see what we find, baby booze. Let's get these masks on. Dime papi. Dime mommy. Algo así. Okay. Vamos. Yeah. Look at what I already found, you guys. Look at this big old. It's like a quinceanera like tool skirt. You know, to make everything bigger. I figured we can maybe use that for the bottom to make it look really big. There's also this one that's like not bad. It's only three dollars too, but it's it's a little shorty. Maybe I need it as like a base though, and then we can like throw the cortina over it if I find. But we're gonna continue looking. I also found this is just like a side note, but I also found this little cutie. I also found this. It's kind of perfect because again, I can just use it as a structure, little <laughs> Forever 21. This is such a new top too. But I'm gonna definitely trick it out a little bit. Maybe. Okay, we made it to the curtain section. And a few seconds for you, a couple days for me, but I wanted to show you, I forgot, like, I need to wash these things before we get started on the DIY. I was like, woke up, like, we're gonna DIY this, but, um, I gotta wash it, my friend. So here's my receipt. My total was only $30, and I got all of this. Oh, I love the thrift store. For the Rosalia, oh, this stuff is so smelly. This is not an Amy situation. We're just gonna give her a little wash. And then also we got those curtains that I think I showed you already. But this is gonna, I'm gonna drape that over this. You'll see. I don't really know what I'm doing. So just bear with me. We're gonna try to make this work. I need to wash all this stuff. And we'll come back with my sewing machine. Okay, so it has been some time. It is currently, I don't know when I started. It's been, I mean, it was literally since that song came out, that video came out, so it's been a while. But I thought for Halloween, why not revisit this look? Because to be honest, I lagged, I got busy, was a sad, then got busy again, and then I was over it. I'm like, it's so late. Like, why would I come out with this video now? Like, the song is old. So let's get back to it. I'm like so embarrassed. We're gonna have to redo this whole thing. We have our seam ripper uh, because look at these, look at these lines. You guys, no, this is not okay. So I'm gonna sew it proper because this is not okay. Mom actually bought me a, for my birthday, she actually bought me a mannequin. So I still haven't adjusted the sizes and stuff, but I can like literally make it bigger or whatever to make it my my size. So I'm gonna put it on here so we can start like draping it because that's what was kind of like hard for me when I last visited this costume. I went ahead and draped everything. I think I'm gonna have, because I bought two panels, or it came with two panels of the curtain. So I think for the second layer, I can just do it from one side actually, like cut it from one side. That way we can kind of have like the little slit going and then this part can be a bit more gathered. Just stick with me, the vision is coming. I'm gonna go ahead and sew this just regularly. Adding the second panel, I just did a little pleat situation. I hope my machine can take all the bulk of this.
friends is a face of a Virgo that is like, well, it's not perfect, but it'll do. <clears throat> okay, we just finished the dress. I'm really excited to start getting ready. Um, if the designer is watching, which I doubt, or if Rosalia is watching, which I doubt, um, this is just, you know, a quick little afternoon with unas cortinas, okay? <laughs> kind of just like rigged it together, but what you guys think okay i washed my hair it's almost dry i'm gonna put some curls through it but i wanted to get started on the makeup and i actually left while my hair was drying it was taking a while i was like let me pull up to my p.o box collect some packages because i'm heading out of town again and look at what came in you guys what is this not meant to be so this is rosalia's mac collection these are the photos so beautiful oh my god and we have the PR package. I haven't opened it at all, so I have no idea, like, you know, besides from what she posted, but I don't even know, like, what the tea is. It'd be fun to open it up together. Maybe there's some things in here that we can use for this noche de noche look. Que ilusión compartir esas paletas, esmalte y mi rusiru con vosotros. Can't wait to see you serving looks. Besitos, Rosalia. Oh, oh my god, maybe we can use some of these for our nails today. I don't know, my nails are so crusty, you guys. I kind of want to save it. Hopefully you're a Rosalia fan or else you're like, bitch, well, I just want to see the finished look, but I thought it'd be fun to do it together. Ooh, this color is so pretty. This is like an everyday for me. The thing is, I have gel on my hands and then I painted it this like dark color because I had to do a brand campaign for YSL and it was like holding the bottle and everything. Like um, Libre, one of my favorite perfumes. There's six total nail polishes. So this is an eyeshadow palette. Ooh, it's pretty. It's like a nice neutral kind of palette. So I think we can use this actually today because it, it's very, you know, no makeup makeup. This looks like it's like highlight palette, face palette. Yeah, ooh, it kind of reminds me of the Dior one I have. It's so pretty. Who knew I was gonna be using Miss Thang's makeup line in this video? Maybe I had to wait for a reason. It all makes sense now. <laughs> okay, so these are the bullet lipsticks that obviously MAC is known for. I think the most, it's like the classic. It's called the Red Chile. Oof, that is gorgeous. Okay, so these are liquid lipsticks, so maybe we can even use something from here. I wish I had like eyeliner, or lip liners. Ooh, this is pretty. This is called Halea. This is like an orangey one. This is called Spicy Pimenton. Ooh, that is so pretty. I like all of these. I mean, she's like my kind of girl, honestly. Oh, so one is Spicy Pimenton, and then this one's Spicy Pimienta. And it's more... Ooh, I think we can use this a little bit today for her lips. And then the red, of course. This is called Paprika. And it's like a true red. Aw, they're so pretty. I'm so happy that they sent it to me. Thank you, Mac, if you're watching. Anybody from Mac's team? I'm really excited. Okay, so let's go ahead and get Started. Okay, I hope this is okay because I never really use lights. I try to do a TikTok simultaneously. Let's see if I can do it, y'all. There's too many platforms now. I'm like, Lord help me. The Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. I really like this. It makes your skin look really silky and hydrated. I feel like her look is very, um, maybe I should just do like a voiceover, huh? Next, we're gonna move on to the Tinted Moisturizer. This is by Laura Mercier. Again, just like really fresh faced. I'm gonna use the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This one's like really nice and light so I can get some brightness going. Let me know down below if you bought anything from the Rosalia collection. I'd love to know or if you like her music, what you think. I'm sure if you're watching this, you're maybe a fan. Or maybe you're just my fan and I appreciate you for that. <laughs> fan, oh God. I say that very jokingly, okay? <laughs> I'm just gonna blend this out. I got a new product that's actually kind of perfect for this eyebrow look. Um, I actually recently did mine thinner, so we're gonna have to fill in a little bit just to get that bold brow, and I'm pretty sure they use like a powder on her, and I love the packaging on this. Like, it's just so smart. You just take out the spoolie, so this is the front. And then you take out the spoolie, like, or not spoolie, the brush. My bad, my bad, my bad. I'm gonna take this darker shade on this side, and they're very square, very like Frida Kahlo. The amount of times I've been called Frida. I'm like, well, yeah. 
my Mexican heritage really comes through for me. I've never used this product before, so bear with me. We're gonna leave it like this for now, and then we can always come back and fix whatever. I just kinda wanna move on and see like how the rest of the look face looks once I have my makeup on, and what do I need to, need to adjust from the brows. If I would have not done my brows after I came back from Mexico from being gone for like a month, I wouldn't have to do a single thing to my eyebrows. <laughs> I missed you guys, by the way. That is what the brows are looking at like. Let me look at her reference photo again. We're gonna move on to... Yeah, they're super dark. I think I need to fill them in. Let me grab a pencil. That should be good for now. So I'm just gonna use this shade here that's called Salvia, I believe. Okay, there's really not much to blending or anything. So I'm just gonna pat that on and then with the color called Cafe con Leche, which is this right here. It's just like a neutral brown. I'm gonna blend it into like my brow bone pretty much. And it'll kind of neutralize the oranginess of it. Just a little more toned down. I'm even gonna take a little bit of shredded cocoa. These are really pretty, actually. I'm like really into them. I'm just gonna use all of the matte shades. Her makeup is pretty matte. I'm gonna concentrate the creamy or the cocoa right under the brow bone. I'm gonna take a touch of azafran. Never heard of that azafran. This one kind of has like a bit of a brick color to it. Just to add dimension. I love this bronzer, by the way. I'm using the shade Suntan. This is the shade three. There we go in. I feel like she has more blush, but I just like to define a little bit and bronze up my skin. I'm gonna use this blush by Rose Ink. It's new. It's called Heliotrope. It's a cream and it's so lovely. So we have some choices to make. I think I'm gonna start out by using this shade here, Spicy Pimienta color. And I'm gonna try to concentrate it on the outer edges of my, of my lips. Just so it looks kinda like bitten. I'm gonna go ahead and use Halea, just in the center of my lips. And I definitely wanted to use some highlighter even though she does seem a little bit more matte. I think I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna mix this one and this one. With just a light touch of mascara, I'm gonna just bring up my lashes a bit. Just like one coat. And I'm using the Ilia. I'll decide in a bit after I do my hair if I need to do more brow or what. But to me, this looks good. Okay, let's change into our outfit. We got our hair and makeup done. I ended up going a little deeper with the brows. I did, I did. I went with the pencil, the Honest Beauty one. It was really good. It's just like a regular pencil. And I thought kind of the trick, right? Okay, let's change. I'm so excited to show you the dress. It's hard to, to show you the full thing. Straight is what you call a candy paint. Southern Arizona fell in love, it's dead. Angel 